what earth could you possibly go for season four? Like you're already at eleven, you're gonna have to go to a thousand. Well, the interesting thing about it is, I say that at the at the end of every season, yeah, and I, I go, know. "Oh my god, what else?" And then I usually get an email from Eric just before we're gonna get started on the next season, and he's like, uh, "You need to come in and see this." And then I sit down. And I'm like, "Oh, okay, so." So that's it. So then we're going there. Uh, you know, I, 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 I will tease that there is probably could be one of my probably could be the favorite, my favorite song that I've ever written in my entire life for season four. And that's all I'm going to say. But uh, and it's it is a magnificent uh, point in the show that I will put out there. But that's already uh, done. And, and I can't wait for the world to hear that. But but I know that you know, the thing that's really interesting, and I think we'll work that, this into this question is, I still don't understand how our writers and how Eric and everybody seem to write these shows two years before they air. And somehow it all airs within a week of whatever's actually happening in the world being that. And, and it was like, oh my God, you know, when you, when, when you started seeing the the you know uh what's the guy's name the todd the 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 stepfather and he's sort of starting to get bought in and you're like and then literally before the two days before that episode aired where he was going to the full-on homelander you know thing like there was somebody at a huge like proud boys rally yeah. you know doing the same thing and and you're like oh my god this was two years, but how did you, you wrote this two years ago and it's exactly right. And, and I think that's the thing that always makes the show feel so smart and so impressive because I just think they're so good at, 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 at moving side by side with reality and with what the world is struggling with. And I think they asked me to come along for that ride. So that's, that's the only thing that will guide me in terms of like how do we get bigger and better and different for season four is uh, you know i will take my cues from them and they take their cues from the real world which i think is one of the things that makes the show so great because it it is absolutely not real but it's pretty real and it's kind of creepy and and that is what makes it feel like you're on this tightrope of like you know there's, there's like it feels like you're on a tightrope over a you know over a, a pool of sharks or something because you're like, ooh, this is this is a little close. This is a little too close to reality for comfort. Um, and and to be able to use that in, you know, I think in a lot of my music, I've been able to to do that um, for the show. And you know, I think that's what makes it feel really fresh and really exciting. And you know, and as far as you know, we may not be able to go higher than eleven, but we may just add more amplifiers. There may be, you know, instead there may, you know, again, I don't think it's going to be adding as much new stuff as it's going to be like just it just spreads the it just spreads the uh the the shotgun uh you know path and uh and that's kind of what i think i'm guessing i haven't seen it yet but uh but i yeah. think it's going to be insane um and uh you know and hell i'm along for the ride because every time i see a new episode my jaw hits the ground and i'm like okay that's that's yeah. another challenge and that's gonna another another you know, another thing to try to to try to tackle and it never gets boring. It's so fun.